Hello, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another amazing video by Ipiduni Oladayo. Today, I'm going to be talking about something very, very, very useful to every filmmaker. It's called the color theory and how to use this in your films. I'm so glad that I have this very, very, very good tool that I use to make my decisions and to make my color palettes. If you want to see the tool, stick to the end and you see it. The color theory is an idea that a bunch of filmmakers came together to make on what we call the color wheel. The color wheel is an arrangement, a sequential arrangement of these colors around the wheel, which makes it easy for you to pick and combine colors for your films. So the truth is, subconsciously, whether we like it or not, color actually affects our perception of a particular film. Blue is always associated with calmness, relaxedness. Red is associated with danger and anger. Orange is usually associated with warmth, friendliness, happiness, and green is associated with nature, obviously. And sometimes green can also be used to portray disgust in a way, depending on how the filmmaker actually use it. So now that we know what all this color mean, like psychologically, how do we combine this film to actually draw out a particular emotion from our audience because in the subconscious of your audience mind they are affected by your decisions of color for your film if you use them intentionally there is a tool called color.adobe.com i when i discovered this tool it was a life-saving um thing for me and i've always used this tool in all of my projects so without wasting much time let's go to color.adobe.com we'll be discussing four major color schemes that there are more than four, but I'll just be discussing four for the sake of this video. So we're we'll discussing complementary color scheme, we're we'll dis discussing analogous color scheme, we're we'll discussing monochromatic color scheme, and we're we'll discussing triad color scheme. Those are the four we're discussing. So for my favorite straight up, my favorite is the complementary color scheme. What does complementary color scheme do? Basically what it does, it takes the two colors on the opposite end of the wheel, and those two colors always go together they are usually opposing colors but they always complement each other whenever you mix them together in the scene i think the most abused one that almost everyone knows is the orange and teal in every film almost every hollywood film has orange orange and teal i've used orange and teal like a lot of time in several of my projects <laughs> because it works and it looks good i mean why not just use it so for example if i'm to use like orange and teal in this i want to generate that from this this will be what it's going to give me so i can send this to my production designer i can send this to my costume stylist i can send this to whoever is working on the set the nail technicians the, to the makeup artist that they should work with this color scheme and it's just going to come out as orange and teal you save the color is a lot of work <laughs> when you plan your colors very well in pre-production you have less stress with a colorist in post-production so always plan your colors um i'm going to just try another example and i think another one i really like is the red and green red and green always goes together every time and this is a proof on the color wheel i think i've used red and green yes in the last opal commercial i shot i used red and green a lot another example would be the the purple and yellow purple and yellow works almost every time also you should try them out in your project so let's say for example if you have um, a room and most of the production design is in the purple range you can have your character maybe wear something like yellow and just sit in the scene always works every time try it and come and share your testimony <laughs> So the next we'll talk about, my next favorite would be the analogous. Analogous color scheme basically just takes colors that follow each other on the color wheel and if you combine those colors together, they always work. So for example now, I'm going to use this, for example, this is a combination of blue, um, dark blue, or I don't know the exact name of these colors, but it ends up from blue and goes to purple. If you combine this on your scene or on a particular set always works it looks like monochromatic but it's not 
the different colors i will explain what monochromatic is in the, in a few seconds so this is another combination here and you can also like expand this if you want the colors to vary a bit yeah and move them around so this is a combination of purple um uh, what color is this i don't know but red and you end up with orange this is another combination so you can just move this around and determine colors for your scene so the next thing we're going to talk about is the monochromatic monochromatic is similar visually to the triad but the thing monochromatic is just one color but different shades so let's say for example we're using yellow it's going to be like different shades of the same yellow if you move this over to let's say orange it's going to be different shades of this same orange you move this over to red different shades that's light red deep red different reds if you combine this color in a particular scene always works a perfect example i would give will be let's say for example your character is in a state of calm and we know blue is associated with calm and probably your character is on the pool just relaxing we can have the character let's go to blue here you can have the pool will probably be this color we can have the character wear this color we can have the the pool um side thing have this color and yeah basically you have colors for your scene already and please try out monochromatic also it's easy to shy away from but trust me it's the most matured way to combine colors in my opinion the next would be the triad the triad is my least favorite i, I kind of don't like too many colors in my film i probably just stick it to two or one it's my personal preference though but if you need to combine like three colors and maybe your main color is blue you can move this around and choose like any color combination that it comes up comes that comes up from here and yeah please try out these colors try out this color theory try out the site color.adobe.com i'll put the link in the description and please if you gained anything meaningful from this video please give this video a thumbs up it helps the channel to grow and also help other people discover this kind of video and please subscribe to the channel that's the best thing you can do for us on the channel right now without wasting so much of your time see you on the next video peace out